guns, tanks, stealth, jets, and lasers? The US military has a pretty advanced army, and buried in those vaults are some of the strangest weapons ever invented. Here are the craziest military weapons the army still uses today. Number 20. Atchison Assault Shotgun Everyone knows the positives of a shotgun. They hit like a tank, complete with an earth-shattering sound. The cons? Very limited capacity. That makes it useful for scaring off a daughter's boyfriend or blowing the head off a zombie, but maybe not so much in combat. Military weapons require both accuracy, ease of use, and high capacity, not something shotguns are typically known for. Enter the Atchison. Also known as the Auto Assault 12, this gun is one of the only automatic combat shotguns ever created. It only needs the user to make a quick trigger pull to fire and can fire up to a whopping 300 shots a minute. While this model was designed in the 1980s and has largely fallen out of favor, future designs built on it and combat shotguns are still used today, making them even more useful. The powerful recoil that comes with a shotgun, knocking many an unexpecting user off their feet, is barely present here. It takes the power of a shotgun and combines it with the accuracy and use of a rifle, but sometimes the best way to survive combat is not to be seen. Number 19. Adaptive Camouflage It's hard to get a convoy through enemy territory, one wrong move, and you could come under attack from dozens of snipers, and staying under the radar is easier when you're not taking massive military vehicles with you. Camouflage has been used by militaries for thousands of years, often as simple as the color of clothing soldiers wear, but disguising something large like a tank is a different story. In 2011, that all changed, as BAE Systems announced an incredible new program that could protect convoys from enemy eyes. But could someone really make a tank invisible? Surprisingly, yes. The adaptive camouflage system was simply surprisingly effective. The sides of the armored vehicle would be covered with around a thousand hexagonal panels that would take thermal images of everything around the vehicle. They would then reflect what was on the other side, creating an image of an area without the vehicle in it. Alternatively, the camouflage could reflect the chosen image, like a harmless car driving through, to eliminate suspicion. The infrared stealth system remains one of the top choices for high-tech camouflage available today. Sometimes what an army needs is strength. Number 18. Hulk No, they're not dropping a green giant guy on the enemy, although that would be pretty effective. The Human Universal Load Carrier was an attempt by Berkeley Robotics starting in the year 2000 to see what a human can do when given a little assistance. Carrying equipment is one of the biggest challenges of the army, and it often makes it hard to travel from one location to another. So, the scientists asked, what if we could increase a soldier's carrying capacity? By how much? How about an inhuman 200 pounds while traveling 10 miles an hour? And all it would take was a simple exoskeleton. The Hulk was designed to fit around the legs and back, providing support and a powered assist while carrying a massively heavy backpack. Powered by batteries, it would run for up to 8 hours while marching and could operate for days with lighter use. While it did perform up to par for weight and none of the troops using it were injured by the weights, the army wasn't quite satisfied with the freedom of movement it offered, and it could cause strain on muscles. While it's not currently used in combat, interest in the project remains, bringing us all a little bit closer to being Iron Man. In combat, the most important factor is none other than accuracy. Number 17. Precision Guided Firearm in today's army, many of the soldiers are trained marksmen, but many only get basic training, and in the events of a draft, it's likely some would be thrown into combat with only a few weeks of training. That's why today's military is focused on how to take a little of the work off the soldier and onto the gun itself. The Precision Guided Firearm is an upgraded sniper rifle that not only has the traditional tracking scope, but comes with wireless smart technology to pick up data to make it easier to hit your target. And when we say pick up data, we mean all of the data. The most advanced of all these weapons can hack into a local and larger network to pick up data from voice and video all around. The digital scope can also provide visual assistance for locking onto the target, similar to how fighter jets often have precise targeting mechanisms. If this sounds like super spy territory, that's because it is, and many of these weapons can track targets and figure out the best possible vantage point to hit them from, without much input from the man behind the scope. But what if it wasn't just the gun that was smart? Number 16. Smart Bullets Precision guided munitions are not new. Missiles and torpedoes are often equipped with guiding mechanisms that can not only just lock onto targets but change their trajectory if the target moves. In 2008, the Exacto program at DARPA switched their strategy from focusing solely on smart guns, developing bullets that can have the same abilities. The earliest model would illuminate the target with a laser designator, and the bullet would be keyed to follow that. It would be able to track targets up to a mile away and change position 30 times a second. But modern designs might be even more advanced. 
The research into smart bullets is ongoing, and Dr. Roland Barrett developed a model that would have three fiber optic eyes around it for tracking. Other designed bullets would be able to be controlled by radio waves or travel around corners automatically without needing to be fired from a curved barrel. These weapons are still in development, and the biggest roadblock in their way? Money. After all, most soldiers will only use one gun but a lot of bullets, and making every one of them a smart bullet would involve a lot of technology. Maybe time to send those bullets through community college instead. Sometimes, though, you need non-lethal weapons. Number 15. Taser Shockwave A stun gun can be a useful way to neutralize an enemy without killing or seriously hurting them, like when you need them coherent for interrogation. But that becomes a lot harder when the person is part of a large group of enemies, and they're all coming right at you. They're probably going to overwhelm you before you get the chance to fire the taser more than once, and that's if you don't run out of charge. But what if you could fire 10 tasers at one time? That's the question the mad scientists at the Taser Corporation decided to answer, and the resulting weapon was amazing if not exactly practical. Meet the Taser Shockwave, a battery of stun guns attached to cables and loaded into a launcher. When triggered, the tasers shoot out and deliver powerful shocks to just about anyone they hit. It might look like a mini-headed dragon, but it's effective at incapacitating attackers quickly and in large numbers, if it hits the target. Accuracy isn't really its strong suit, and in a combat situation there's no guarantee it would hit its target. Taser continues to refine the weapon, and some think it might be more suited to crowd control than combat. And sometimes, you need weapons in the most unusual circumstances. Number 14. Heckler & Koch P-11 You're on a submarine, and you get an alert. A saboteur is trying to sink you. You get into the water to engage, but there is just one problem. Your gun isn't equipped for firing underwater. Ordinary rounds lose range and accuracy when fired underwater. Fortunately, you're armed with the Heckler & Koch P-11, one of the best underwater pistols ever developed. It's short and stubby, looking more like a checkout scanner than a gun, but it packs a punch. But the surface isn't the only thing that makes it different. The P-11 only has five barrels as opposed to the usual six. It fires steel darts rather than traditional bullets, but they can still tear through the enemy. And rather than being traditionally fired, it uses a battery pack in the grip. Also, don't use it recklessly. It can't be reloaded by users and has to be returned to the factory for more ammo. This isn't a weapon that's used too often unless we wind up fighting an army from the lost city of Atlantis, but its secrets are well kept. So well, in fact, its manufacturer won't comment on it. Sometimes the military goes small, and sometimes they go big. Number 13. Electromagnetic Laboratory Railgun The U.S. Office of Naval Research is not a place you get into easily. This is where all the prototypes of the most advanced weapons in the military's stable can be found, but one of them has the potential to be one of the deadliest weapons ever created, taking an already powerful tool and supercharging it with modern technology. A railgun is a massive weapon that fires projectiles at rapid speed and would be one of the most powerful weapons in the U.S. arsenal without needing the equipment for traditional firing. So, what is the secret of this massive prototype? Instead of chemicals designed to ignite explosions, this railgun would fire projectiles entirely using magnetic fields and electricity, and they would travel faster and hit harder than any bullet currently available, up to a whopping 5,600 miles per hour. This gives the railgun power associated with cruise missiles. It's currently in testing, and the military is optimistic about mounting it on ships soon enough. But to get there, they'll have to perfect the repeated fire capability, because for this gun, it's both quantity and quality and that means a lot more tests. But what if the military didn't need to use humans at all? Number 12. The Fire Scout When troops are in a pitched firefight and they see a helicopter from up above, it usually means one thing. Backup is here. But the powerful defense contractor Northrop Grumman has given a new twist. The helicopter is here to provide support, but that doesn't mean there's anyone on board. The Fire Scout looks almost exactly like a standard military chopper, but you'll see a few differences. For one thing, it doesn't have windows, because there's no one inside to look out of it. The Fire Scout might be the most advanced drone ever created. It can take off and land independently, provide aerial fire support for ground troops, and has a top-of-the-line targeting system. While it's designed to be used in combat, it's also an effective surveillance tool. It was declared mission-capable in 2019 and took to the skies, although the Navy continues to develop and enhance it. This raises the question, if the smart machines are the wave of the future, which other heavy artillery could soon be roaming the battlefield without any soldiers on board? Naturally, we're about to find out. Number 11. The Black Knight Tanks are the workhorse of the military. These treaded vehicles provide valuable shelter for soldiers, run over enemy lines, and are equipped with powerful guns. There's just one downside. If they take a hard hit, they can be hard to escape from in a hurry, which is why the mad geniuses of BAE Systems ask, what if we had a tank without the vulnerable people inside? 
Enter the Black Knight, a 12-ton tank designed as an unmanned ground combat vehicle. It looks like an ordinary tank on the surface, but much like the Fire Scout, looks can be deceiving. Let's just say you don't want to be in the way of this drone. It's armed with both a turret-mounted large gun and a coaxial machine gun, runs on traditional Caterpillar diesel engines, and its tractor treads make it ideal for off-road operations. It's operated by remote control, but also can use its computer system to make in-combat decisions, independently of operator input. While it's ideal for missions that are too dangerous to send soldiers into the field, its technology is still a work in progress as the military tries to perfect the wireless communication system. But many people in power think this is the remote tank that might be the wave of the future. The military has developed many non-lethal weapons, some with a devastating impact. Number 10. Phaser it looks like a sci-fi laser gun, and it kind of acts like it too. The Phaser, officially titled the Personnel Halting and Stimulation Response Rifle, is a massive laser dazzler gun designed by the Air Force's research division. It doesn't fire a projectile, but can neutralize an entire field of enemies in seconds by unleashing a massive burst of light that can temporarily blind them. This is a low-intensity laser, which means that the victim should recover quickly, but it can leave an entire field of soldiers stumbling among each other and firing nowhere in particular. So why is this weapon not everywhere yet? It's not that the gun didn't work, it's that the military had to make sure it didn't work too well. Blinding weapons that can cause permanent damage are banned under a 1995 UN protocol, and using them is seen as a crime against humanity, so the military needed to make sure there were no lasting side effects. They also had to give it a really cool name, and someone in the design process was definitely a Star Trek fan. But unlike its namesake weapon, this one only has a stun setting. This next weapon might be the way out of some close quarters. Number 9. The Corner Shot In the 1940s, the Nazi army debuted a new weapon, the Krumlauf, a rifle with a curved barrel that could shoot around corners. It was an innovative solution to a major combat problem, and it was a complete failure with the bullets getting jammed and damaging the barrel after only a few shots. But over 50 years later, the design might have been perfected, ironically by an Israel weapons designer named Amos Golan. Designed in cooperation with American investors, the corner shot has become a key tool for modern militaries. But technology has marched on since the 1940s, and it shows. Unlike the failed version, this weapon doesn't try to shoot a bullet through a curved barrel. Instead, it mounts to a small pistol on the end of a larger weapon, allowing it to be aimed at the target that can be seen through a periscope lens. And it's not a high-powered weapon, but it's one that makes shooting targets from the safety of cover much easier. And in case you're looking for a little more firepower, it can be equipped with a 40mm grenade launcher that can send rounds flying in any direction you choose, without the risk of blowing up your own barrel. Sometimes it's not about the firepower you pack, but it's about what you see. Number 8. Ivis Soldiers can be armed with the best weapons in the world, but in the fog of war, they're dependent on their own eyesight. If they're caught in smoke or in a snowstorm, their aim might be off, leading to missed targets or worse, friendly fire casualties. This gets even more dangerous when the enemy releases vision-clouding weapons, letting them get the drop on the soldiers, which is why teams in the United States Army are working on a unique new headset, one that will not just clear their vision but plunge the soldiers into a new world. Are our soldiers ready for virtual reality? The Integrated Visual Augmentation System, or IVAS, is an augmented reality headset that eliminates visual fog and provides soldiers with a unique array of image options. This includes a thermal setting, so soldiers will be able to see hidden enemies. It also can filter out interference and let soldiers focus on what's important. The headset is in final testing, and the Army plans to use it both as a field tool and a training tool, with soldiers able to engage against virtual enemies in the headset. Maybe exclusive headset video games will soon make some pro gamers sign up for the service too. It's not the only field where the military is working on what sounds like science fiction. Number 7. Quantum Stealth Guy Kramer comes from Canadian innovation royalty, being the grandson of the man who invented the first walkie-talkie. But he might be looking to outdo his granddad by cracking a concept H.G. Wells invented in fiction over a century ago. How do you turn someone invisible? The military has been working on a vehicle camouflage for a while, but options for mobile soldiers are much limited. That's where Quantum Stealth comes into play, a long-term project between Kramer's company HyperStealth and military officials in both Canada and the USA. So what's the secret to his innovation? The keys to quantum stealth are being kept close to the military's chest, but what we know is that quantum stealth uses lenticular lenses, the same technology seen in 3D movie posters. The lenses refract light according to the angle they're viewed at, and the way that they're arranged creates dead spots where the object is invisible. But the background is. While it doesn't render the subject completely invisible and can create a blurry spot, it's more than effective enough to confuse a soldier observing from a distance, so it's no surprise the government is investing heavily in the technology. But sometimes you need an earth-shattering kaboom. 
Number 6. XN1 Laws Unleash the Death Ray Laser weapons are part of science fiction lore, but the US government doesn't want to destroy any planets with them, we hope. The advantage of lasers is that they use a simple powered device and don't rely on ammunition, so they can deliver more than one hit in quick succession. The XN1 Laws was developed by the US Navy and first deployed for field testing in 2014, and the USS Ponce was the lucky ship to get to fire it first. It uses an infrared beam launched from a laser array to hit flying and sea-based targets. So how does it work? For one thing, it's highly energy efficient, needing only an energy pulse to fire and none of the equipment. It can also be adjusted for power, being useful for temporarily blinding enemies at the lowest level. But when it's dialed up to the maximum level of 30,000 watts, it can deliver a massive punch. Not only can it target motors and fry sensors, but it can detonate explosive material on an enemy boat before it reaches its target. It might not be able to blow up enemy battleships from afar, but it's the most effective laser weapon yet. And when it comes to non-lethal attacks, sometimes things get… weird. Number 5. LED Incapacitator The enemy is advancing, and the only thing that will defeat them is… a flashlight? Well, not just any flashlight. The LED Incapacitator is one of the oddest weapons designed by the Department of Homeland Security's Innovation Research Office, and it's largely designed for use at border crossings and other locations where confrontations with suspicious individuals who might be carrying contraband are likely. Rather than using a traditional weapon, this weapon unleashes a series of random pulses of multicolored light, which switch frequencies often and cause pressure on the brain, and the effects can be… messy. The first symptom is a severe headache, and subjects can experience temporary blindness because their eyes can't adjust to the flashing lights. But they also can't focus, become disoriented, and are hit with a wave of nausea, which is why this weapon has earned the nickname the Puke Ray. It's largely an effective weapon against individual targets, but some subjects have been proven largely immune. While it hasn't been deployed everywhere due to concerns over its effectiveness, the odds are it would at least be a useful distractor. But that's nothing compared to what this next non-lethal weapon does. Number 4. Active Denial System The US military and defense contractor Raytheon wanted a way to maintain perimeter security and crowd control without having to rely on live fire, and they developed an option that comes out of science fiction. Known as the ADS, it works by firing an energy beam of similar wavelength to the way a microwave oven works. But instead of heating up your frozen burrito, the ADS is going to heat up you. It activates the water and fat molecules in the skin, suddenly heating them and creating a painful effect that sends anyone hit with it running. But surely, microwaving people can't be ethical, right? While the technology is scary, the effects have been minimal. A microscopic percentage of those affected develop minor burns and blistering, while most retreat from the painful sensation without suffering any obvious injuries. While the device could seriously hurt someone if focused on them, the device is intended to protect perimeters and deter people from entering, meaning they'll have the option to run away as soon as they feel the heat. Authorities are now exploring deploying it in both theaters of war and as a way to keep prisoners from escaping over the fence. This next weapon raises the question, is James Bond becoming real? Number 3. The Armatix IP-1 This weapon doesn't look like much, it's just a standard handgun. But if the agent carrying it gets attacked and disarmed, the enemy grabs their gun, they'll be in for an unpleasant surprise. Because it doesn't matter how many bullets are in the chamber, that gun is not firing. The Armatix IP-1, developed by a famous German firearms manufacturer, is notable for being one of the most advanced smart guns in the world. Not only is it optimized to be safe and easy to fire and equip with a camera, but it can only be fired by its authorized user, and it pulls that off with an unassuming accessory. The Armatix IP-1 comes in two parts, the gun and the wristwatch it's linked to. It might look like a standard accessory, but it's actually an RFID system that communicates with a handgun and can wirelessly affect it when within 10 inches. If the gun is separated from the watch where it becomes a paperweight. This is one watch battery you don't want to run out, so it indicates the charge on both parts, and it comes with a targeting system that can identify and only fire toward the assigned target. It's not a surprise that this gun is not only being considered for classified missions, but many people want some of its features added to standard guns. But what's the ultimate frontier in combat? It just might be droids. Number 2. Modular Advanced Armed Robotic System What's better than armed combat vehicle drones? How about an armed robotic soldier that can head into battle instead of humans? We might be a long way from the cyborg wars, but that hasn't stopped the Defense Department from dreaming big. They've been experimenting with combat robots for a while, and the current models are more advanced than ever. Coming soon to a battlefield near you, the Mars, a nearly 400-pound robot armed with sensors, weapons, and cameras, and it's packing more firepower than any human could carry. How much? How about a machine gun? 
four grenade launchers, the capability to fire non-lethal gear like tear gas, as well as a laser dazzler and a loudspeaker for communicating safely with the enemy. For non-combat missions, the Mars can be equipped with the ability to carry up to 120 pounds. While some combat robots are designed for artificial intelligence, the Mars is more analog, controlled by an operator at base like a drone. But it doesn't need to be a smart robot, it's got enough brawn to make up for the brains. But there's one more robot in the field that might take you by surprise and make you say, what a good boy. Number 1. Robot Dogs A battlefield is stressful enough, but imagine seeing a large four-legged animal approaching you. It looks kind of like a dog, but the proportions are off and it's moving fast. This isn't some weird desert beast, it's one of the military's most popular innovations, the Big Dog. This four-legged military robot was developed by Boston Dynamics and DARPA in 2005 for equipment carrying purposes, essentially replacing the pack mules of old. Its four-legged system would let it overcome rough terrain and each one would have a complex onboard computer. Computer. But sometimes reality defeats innovation. The Big Dog project didn't work out for carrying military equipment because they were too loud for combat. Turns out all those moving parts aren't quiet. But this wasn't the end of the project. While the original shut down in 2015, a smaller all-electric model with a lower carrying capacity was soon introduced. And many current models are being equipped not just with carrying capacity, but with non-lethal defense capabilities. That means these robot dogs have a bite and they might just be coming to a city near you. Want to know more about bizarre weapons? Check out weirdest World War II weapons you've never heard of, or watch this video instead.